Hi, everybody. This is George Foshin, Call Realty, Best Palos Verdes Homes, and it is time for the weekly update on COVID-19 and its effect on Palos Verdes and Beach City's uh, real estate. So uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel right here, and you can do that when you go to youtube.com slash homeispv, and you'll see this uh, subscribe button over here on the right-hand side. It's that easy. All right, let's get to it. So I, you know, whenever there's fear in the marketplace, it's re, it's always important to, to focus on the facts, but never more important than when there's a lot of confusion and, uh, uh, let me turn off my phone. Sorry about that. Um, a lot of confusion and fear in the marketplace. So let's, let's just look at the facts right now and see what's going on. Um, if we look at supply and demand, uh, let's compare the, properties, the number of properties listed and the number of properties going into escrow in the last seven, last seven days versus the last five months. And uh, let's, you know, the numbers are the numbers, uh, but let's take a look at the ratios because that's what's really important. If we compare the last seven days uh, to the last five months, the ratios really haven't changed that much it's really quite surprising. You'd think that with COVID-19, you'd, you'd think that that ratio would be lopsided in favor of the last uh, five months or so, but things are keeping up pace pretty, pretty equally. Uh, let's move along with the changing supply and demand ratios. And we can see in these periods of time, each of these is uh, one week. I've been doing these videos now for uh, four weeks. This is the latest one. Um, again, not too much change from the week before. There was a big spike here back in March 21st through March 28th, but really pretty consistent here. Uh, let's take a look at what prices have been doing. And this compares the period of time from March 11th, 2019 through uh, April 11th, 2019, and the same period this year, March 11th, 2020 to April 11th, 2020, prices aren't really changed that much, down a little bit, less than a 1% change uh, on dollar per square foot. Uh, surprisingly, we see that uh, when we look at gross sale prices, prices are actually up uh, about seven percent so you know again let's let's have some calm in the market and uh, let's understand that the market is still very very active 